There are many stories of magic lamps and genies that offer wishes, that offer anything in the world. There is a popular story of a boy who is very poor, and he happens upon this magic lamp, and it propels him to riches and fame. But at the end of his journey, he learns that external treasures are not the most valuable things he can have. King David had lived a good life. He defeated a giant, he had defeated armies, he showed kindness to the grandson of one of his enemies. And he even brought the Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem. But now David was becoming old, and a new king had to be chosen. David had many sons, but God chose Solomon. He wasn't the oldest or the strongest, but he may have been the one who most desired to follow God. While David lived, he was still a counselor to Solomon. He would teach him how to rule and how to make good judgments and decisions. But one day, David died, and Solomon had to lead on his own. One night, God came to Solomon and offered anything that he wanted. Maybe he was briefly tempted by the idea of riches or being respected by people. Or maybe he thought long life and victory in battle were the best things. But Solomon chose what he needed most, which was wisdom and a heart of understanding to make good choices for his people. It didn't take long for Solomon's newfound wisdom to be tested. Two mothers came before him, each claiming that this child was theirs. Without a DNA test or modern investigative techniques, it would be difficult to prove who the real mother is. However, Solomon decided to do something to prove who the mother was right there and then. Solomon ordered that the baby should be taken and killed. He would not actually do this, but he waited and watched. One mother was indifferent. She didn't care. If she couldn't have it, then neither of them should have it. She agreed with Solomon's decree. The other mother gave up all claim she had to the baby and begged for Solomon to give it to the other woman. This is what Solomon needed to hear. Only the real mother would act in such love to protect her child. With the proof in their reactions, Solomon declared the real mother and reunited her with her child. Solomon became famous for his wisdom. He earned the respect of many, including other rulers. Even though Solomon would make mistakes, his example shows us the value of wisdom, the ability to understand and make good choices. The value of wisdom is beyond any riches we could ever hope for.